I'm spending New Year's Eve getting the engine out of the drag pack, which we've needed to do for what? Months now? We're always, as usual, behind schedule. So that's how we'll be spending our day. Getting the engine out of the drag pack requires a little work because it's on the showroom floor. So there's stuff in the way that we got to get out of the way first, including this, which is for sale. How much is this, guys? 10 9. 10 9. There we go. Moving the race cars off of the showroom floor is always a little bit of a shuffle because we're always hopeful that there's a few extra bodies standing around that are willing to help us either push the car or possibly have a four-wheeler on the showroom floor that we can use to pull the car around to the shop. But once we make it there, we get right down to business. First, my dad and Terry put the car on the lift while my sister was playing with the tools. And then my dad let me lift the car. Thanks to Terry and his advice, he recommended that we remove everything under the car first. And this is where the kids came in handy because they would stand under the car and be ready to take all the bolts as the guys remove them and then keep them all organized for us to make assembly a breeze. Good job, buddy. Wait, how high do we need it? All the way. Oh, okay. No, it's not. I put it in park. Oh, I took it out. Huh. There's park. Holland, be ready to take bolts, please. Be ready to take the bolts. So despite our efforts this fall when we um, winterized the car to store it for the winter, we found that the engine was a little seized up when we went to remove it and so that just slowed us down a little bit but thankfully we had a lot of good help to help us stay right on track and the rest of the job was pretty much a breeze i just got back from getting all the guys burgers while they got the engine hoist hooked up to the pit pal to lift that engine out we got it wrapped up and the next day we sent it off to the shop to get refreshed Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the Wheelock family. Thank you.